friends, fans, artists must meet. Which one are you? Which one is you? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you wherever you are. If you're tuned in, you're listening to Friends, Fans and Artists Meet. And if you're watching this, this is the Friends, Fans and Artists Meet, a vlog series that I have started. I am Daniel Mauli Quist, your humble and gracious host. As a vlog, what am I going to be doing? Well, I'm going to be reading, I'm going to be reading poems, I'm going to be playing poetry that I am listening to, that is recorded poetry from, um, from friends and from artists that I admire, and then we're going to be dissecting it. I am going to be di dissecting it. Hopefully, you know, we will be able to re-engineer um, in our own perspective, in our living rooms, in our, in our cars, in our, in our offices, in our classrooms, all the things that we perceive this artist trying to express or inform us about through this body of works that they have put out. Um, some of the readings will be from people who, who are fans of the, the work that they will be reading. So it's going to, and hopefully, you know, be able to bring uh, performers onto this very platform to also engage you and, and share their art. For today's so, I am going to be engaging a friend of mine who goes by the name of Yvette Tete, one of the most hardworking, relentless, tenacious, um, beautiful, amazing women that I know who is a supporter of the creative arts scene in this country for um, a while now. She is uh, an entrepreneur of great proportions. She and I serve on a board um, of an organization that is doing amazing work in this country. And I'm just like, just stoked that, you know, she, um, I get to highlight one part of her that, you know, people who know her will not know that, you know, she, she really, she does. And this is a poetry reading that she did last year. And it's a series of poems that she read and recorded, sent to her friend's group on WhatsApp for 30 plus days of the year. I joined in on the 10th of January. So this is the very first piece that um, she, I heard. And I was taking my breath, it took my breath away because I'm like, what? Every morning you wake up to like this poem, like a poem from her. It was just beautiful. And so, um, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, without much I say, let's welcome Eva Tete. Sometimes I forget completely. A poem by Rumi. Sometimes I forget completely what companionship is. Unconscious and insane, I spill sad energy everywhere. My story gets told in various ways. A romance, a dirty joke, a war, a vacancy. Divide up my forgetfulness to any number. It'll go round. These dark suggestions that I follow, are they part of some plan? Friends, be careful. Don't come near me out of curiosity. Mm. This is such a beautiful piece, which opens with admitting to something, admitting that one is not, one is not perfect. Look. Sometimes I forget completely what companionship is. Unconscious and insane, I spill sad energy everywhere. Sometimes I forget what, I completely forget what companionship is. We can all relate to that. Because we have friends who are who kind of don't understand why we don't reach out, why we do we don't do this, we don't do that, we don't, you know. But then also he further goes on, or they further go on to say, now let's just say she, Yvette is the one who's reading. She further goes on to read that 
I spread sad energy everywhere. This is the reason why I don't understand. Like, I don't, because I don't, maybe your intentions, the reason why you are, you know, in relation with, with um, your friends and those that are close to you, fans, and it's because they do not know. So, this is the, you have the artist here who is trying, this is a call for help, almost. You know, not help in a way that might be, but like more so, listen, I want you to understand that I don't fully have it figured out. I am on this journey of trying to figure it out itself. So, that is so powerful to me. It is like really, like I'm like, yeah, admitting the not knowing is the way to actually find solution. My story gets told in various ways. Mm. A romance, a dirty joke, a war, a vacancy. Divide up my forgetfulness. My story gets told many ways. A romance, a war, a vacancy, a dirty joke. We leave imprints everywhere. In my opinion, like we do live. We're like we're living in a day where being having a handle is also an identity, right? And so what your handle says about you. My handle on social media is get up stand out. I believe in the ethos of getting up and standing out, being the fullest of yourself as an individual. And so that is also its own identity and it speaks volume about me. So that is my story getting told. Whether I like it or not, I am the one who put the information out there. So the writer and the performer are both letting us understand. But also what Yvette does so beautifully is the inflection in her voice, the way she controls her voice to state this writer's state of mind. That in itself is so beautiful. The pauses to let you understand the emotions that this artist or the writer is trying to convey because she felt it. She could relate to it. Beautiful. As to any number, it'll go around. These dark suggestions that I follow, are they part of some plan? Friends, be careful. Don't come near me out of curiosity or sympathy. The life that we're all living, if we are able to understand that we all don't know it yet, and each part of the journey is what would tell the story, and posterity becomes the judge and becomes the only defender of us all. We will, we will deploy empathy towards each other constantly, and we will be able to then grow as a community who are not only telling each other's story through the viewpoint that we stand for or the emotions that we are only having to deal with, but look at our, each other in its entirety and our companionship would have more clarity. Thank you, Yvette, for reading the beautiful words of Rumi. And I will do my homework of finding out who Rumi is and more on their body of work. Thank you very much for sticking and staying. Thank you very much for listening to the Friends, Fans and Artists Meet. I am your humble and gracious host. I go by the name of Daniel Mauli Quist and I am excited about the series that has begun. And hopefully we can continue to engage each other because Charlie, the sky is not the limit. It's only the beginning. We will explore. Cheers and have a lovely day. Friends, fans, artists must meet. Which one are you? Which one is you?